Okay, so for tonight's dinner, I'm going to pop open this Nashville hot mini chopped salad. Got this at Walmart. It's new from Taylor Farms. Um, in it, we have romaine lettuce, dill pickle, seasoned crispy cucumbers with a creamy Nashville hot ranch dressing. Ooh, that's going to be good. And I'm pairing it with this blackened Atlantic salmon fillets. Yummy. Now, I will, disclaimer, I didn't realize these are not wild-caught Alaskan salmon. Um, so this is something you can easily make on your own. You can blacken it yourself, which I think I'll probably do next time. Um, it looks like all we need is like some paprika, cayenne pepper, onion powder, black pepper, oregano, thyme, garlic powder, spices. I'm sure there's plenty of recipes online for that. And I'm going to mix my salad up in this nifty container from the Dollar Tree, Dollar 25 store. The lid comes off. It's a nice size. You can put everything in there and just shake it up and get all the salad dressing all over. So that's going to be a yummy dinner. And I was going to make green beans, but... We'll see how I feel, I don't know. All right, so I'm just gonna mix up my salad. So one thing I will say is eat these fast because they seem like they brown. The lettuce browns pretty quickly. And this is like perfect for one serving, love that. And then you have your packet of dressing, creamy Nashville ranch, and then you have your pickles. Ooh. -ooh. That looks so delicious. Okay, let's try it. Excited. Get a piece. Oh, the salmon is cooked perfectly. Mmm, delicious. Okay, so we're gonna get into that chicken. Ignore the Domino's pizza box. We did have Domino's the other day because it was 50% off all of their pizzas and it was delicious. So I have the chicken marinating here. Um, I like to poke holes in it with a for put my seasonings, it's very basic. I just put garlic powder, onion powder, smoked paprika, and I put seasoning salt and pepper, and did I say garlic powder? And that's about it. We're gonna have that with some rice. Usually I have the Bibigo brand sticky rice, but I need to use this regular jasmine rice. It was in my pantry, so I'm gonna use that. I always soak my rice before cooking it with lots of butter. And then I always hit my meat with some garlic salt um, once it's almost done. And the star is going to be French beans. Mmm, I'm gonna saute that up and it's gonna be delicious. For the rice, I'm using Better Than Bouillon. This is the made with the seasoned roast beef flavor. So I just boil the water and once the water boils, I'll put in like, use this sparingly. I'll put in like maybe one tablespoon of this and that's gonna make it, the rice very flavorful. And then I'm also gonna add uh, butter towards the end and fluff it out. Yum. Okay, so I've cut and washed my green beans. You know you wanna cut the janky looking ends off and wash your green beans. Um, I'm going to put some butter in this pan. And man, I'm too lazy to cut garlic. I have fresh garlic. I'm just gonna use <laughs> the rest of what's in this container and throw the green beans in, saute it up, cause I'm starving. I'm so hungry. And I like to be in bed by like 9, 8 o'clock, it's 7.30, okay? So this is my daughter's dish. I just did like a chicken and rice bowl with little soy sauce, green onions, and the chicken and rice mixed in, and raspberries on the side. Um, she's not gonna mess with them green beans. Yummy. 
Here's my plate. I have my delicious green beans. I ended up using the garlic pepper seasoning from the $1.25 store. This is so good. A little goes a long way. And then I just ended up just cutting up my chicken and my rice with green onions as well. And this is going to be delicious. I'm going to eat this while I watch 90 Day Fiance. Yes. I'm just filming this on my phone, but this lasagna came out delicious. The rails, rails, delicious. And the ingredients are great. I mean, it's just like tomatoes, ricotta, water, beef, pork, cheese. Look at that. Love that. Yum. I'll let you guys know how it tasted. And here is dinner. Here's dinner. I got the lasagna with yummy broccoli and parmesan cheese. I love to put a Jica seasoning from Trader Joe's on my broccoli with 21 seasoning salute, a little olive oil, and a little slap your mama. Yummy. Delicious work lunch. So in here I have the tzatziki dip with cucumbers, green grapes, tomatoes, and my gherkins. Some Hawaiian rolls with cheese, pepperoni, meat. Delicious. So I didn't wake up in enough time to prepare, so I just picked up a BLT. A little spot by my job. It is so good. Sparkling lemon water and sun chips garden salsa. This is my quick lunch. I have the extreme wellness spinach and herb. I put cream cheese down and here are some vegetables that I prepped. Peppers and onion. And then I'm gonna have the rest of my tuna. It was so good. And here is just tomato, hard boiled egg, mayo, some seasonings, delicious. And I forgot to mention, I'm gonna put some mixed greens in there as well and roll it up. And that's gonna be my lunch. Okay, so we're going to make my oatmeal. I just use the maple and brown sugar Quaker instant oatmeal packets that I get at Costco. This is such a cute little container. But I put my yogurt, my uh, oatmeal in for work and it has a lid. So I'll just warm it up. So I use almond milk, just two third cups of almond milk, blueberries, the Badia Whole Trilogy Health Seed Flat Chia Hemp Mix, creamy peanut butter, and goji berries. So I just kind of warm, I microwave everything in there, and then at 9 a.m. I have my breakfast. Yummy. Sprinkle is so good. Turkey burger. Delicious. Okay, so now I wanna get into this spice cake. The brand is Betty Crocker. It's just a boxed cake mix, super easy. The recipe does call for three eggs, water. I think I'm gonna use milk. Uh, vegetable oil, three eggs. We mix it up, put it in the oven, and I'm going to make a cream cheese frosting. So I have some cream cheese here, the vanilla to go in the cream cheese, and we're gonna mix that up with butter and powdered sugar, which is still in the pantry. So I have these cute little mixing bowls that I love. They come in different sizes. These came in handy last year during holiday baking. So let's make some spice cake. It is my first fall recipe of the year. It's not quite fall yet, so I'm just gonna do cake for now. That'll do.
Next, we're going to make the cream cheese frosting. We're going to mix together softened butter and softened cream cheese, powdered sugar, and vanilla. And that's going to top our cake. Once the cake cools, the whole house is smelling like spice. It smells so good in here. Even the cat loves it. What you doing? Hi. Hey. Of that and just whisk it in. Dang, powdered sugar is messy. Wow, but it was worth it. Here she is. Gorgeous. Those are my little holes that I made with the skewer to see if it was cooked and it is cooked in the middle. We're gonna let this cool. We're gonna put the frosting in the refrigerator. And then once this is nice and cool, we're gonna frost it and we're gonna eat it in bed while watching, I don't know, I'm, I'm watching 90 Day Fiance the other way right now on Discovery Plus. Which y'all watching? I need a good show to watch. So here's our finished spiced cake. Um, it looks delicious. I did add to the top cinnamon toast crunch, uh, cinnamon dust, and a little bit of pumpkin pie spice. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.